Here we go guys, so as I said, the subclavian muscle is right here between the collarbone and right directly underneath that is the first rib. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create some space right back here behind the collarbone to kind of dig and pry towards the first rib. Okay, so the way I like to do that is I support the hip down here and I bring it up, almost pinching my finger between the collarbone and, and her neck. And from here, I move my hand with the motion of the head, okay? So when I'm here, bring the, the head up, I pinch it all together. And now together, I'm going to bring it down towards the table, okay? And add a little bit more movement. And so that way, I can create some more space right behind the collarbone. Here too, you can either just stretch it here in order to get the scalenes if the really forward head uh, posture is there. You're going to want to push down on the shoulder as you pull away on the neck. Okay, that will create that tension from uh, the, state, the anterior and middle scalenes up here. When I just push here, it's, it's up here squeezed already in a shortened position, so there's not going to be much of a stretch. So what you want to do is bring the shoulder down, push that away to wherever that tension allows you to and then just slowly tilt the head away. Okay, if you go too fast, you could uh, kind of shock that nerve and it's going to be very uncomfortable for your client. Okay, so once again, just come here. Wherever the tightest spot is, you want to kind of cave in with the neck and then move the neck, the head, and the hand pressure all together. Go guys, give that a try.